Steve. Steve. What's going on, Tommy? You knew where we'd be. <laughs> Looks like some cocoa. Good looking cocoa. I think that's Panamanian rosewood. We want to spec out a few. Are there any woods that we should really be looking at or? Well, we're pretty much excited about all the wood species that we brought. Cream that we We love the rare stuff if there's any like no kingwood or anything fun like that this year. Or Fair. Always interested in coca bolo, honestly. Um, let's take a look at the cocoa. No. Ooh. Yeah, that looks I like how clean that is. Maybe, yeah. I like how orange that is. Oh yeah, that's a cool color. So we've had success with the cocoa on an OM. And uh, this one's cut for a dread or marked for a dreadnought. I like the the figure on this. Yeah, that one's just kind of wild. That was the yeah. first maybe. Yeah. I think let's go with that guy. Yeah. I like the sapwood on that one. Maybe. Yeah. I think we want to do three, so maybe okay. these and a wild green. Yeah. No, a little, a little too plain. Yeah. No. Pass. I think that the sapwood's going to probably take it for me. Uh -huh. That one's got some really got pretty some color. Green. Yeah, and yeah, some maybe. Deep. Yeah. Some it's yeah, going to have kind of this, like, it'll, that'll have like a color shift kind of maybe. look. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Whoa. Very interesting. It doesn't really match though. Yeah, it doesn't match. It doesn't have the right book match. Yeah, no. Okay. I like that, but it would almost have to be a dreadnought. Uh huh. Yeah. I'd say pass. Pass. I think I want to go color shift over yeah. sapwood. Yeah, yeah. That's too cool. So maybe OM some kind of 12 fret with the Guatemalan yeah. and then the dreadnought with the wild green again. Dreadnought wild green. Yeah, that one was cool. Okay. Alright, so this is so, a high maybe, but I'm going to do the Okay. Cool. Black walnut. So let's do the Guatemalan. And then I looked at this the other day, but I haven't had enough time to really spend with it. Any 12 fret options this year? Is it all 14? You want to do a 12 fret single O, double O with this? I mean, you won't get much of the wood if we do a single O. Yeah, I think double O. I uh, like the double Yeah, can we do 12. a 12 fret double O with the, the uh, Guatemalan, please? That'd be awesome. Okay, uh, 28 style, 41 style, or 45. 41, I think. Yeah. And I apologize, I have the spacing page and I'm trying to get sideways so you can see what we're doing. I really like the sound we got out of that Swiss. Yeah. Um, so I think on this one, Swiss. Yeah. Okay. There's no the holes in the Swiss spruce, is there? Sorry, you gotta make that joke every time. Um, let's do the uh, golden era. Yeah, let's class it up. How do we think this would be with dark rosewood binding? With Almost the, like this color. The top's gonna be real light, right? The Swiss. Unless we do it as a sunburst. Ah. The OM that we ordered last year from you, which has a uh, amber tone and the rosewood, and it looks so good with the pearl. And I kind of feel like we should try that again. Let's do that again on a, on a, on a 002 fret. That'll be classy. Yeah. You could do the block border only, script pearl, or alternative torch. It's going to be a 12, it'll be a slotted headstock, right? Or will it be a flat? Yeah. Well, I mean, can you tell me? You could we do non-slotted? Because they would look really good with a vertical block. Yeah. Slot. I think slotted headstock with the, the golden the era style. Cool. You guys have been really gracious to do a label for us. Um, so we'd love to do the uh, the label as well in the I sound hole. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's, got, it's got a photo of the Telluride Mountains and it's awesome. And we okay. love it. Yes. Yes. What species? I have it. You're good to go. Thank you. Um, I think modern glue is fine, honestly. Yeah, I think, yeah. Fine. I think we've we've styled it yeah. out in other ways. <laughs> if we're gonna do that headstock, then I feel like 41, 45 would be overkill. Yeah. Because that's kind of understated. Yeah. So I think maybe we try to style it out as much as possible without doing pearl. Yeah. Yep. I think that'd be cool. Okay. Um, Engelman's intriguing as a Sitka VTS. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I mean, Engelman's, mm, I like the VTS because it's another thing to talk yeah. about. Yeah, let's do VTS. Probably just Adirondack, or you want to go Sitka Sitka, you think? Just, it might be a little yeah, louder, maybe? Yeah. In. Yes, totally. Uh, one. 
It'll be kind of like a pre-war it's sort of look. It up a little yeah. bit, but not yeah. too much. I like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ooh, I like that top piece. Is it a short pattern diamond and square, or is it like, I'm going to just do like 575? Five, yeah. Or 579? Like five, yeah. I like the 579. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. I think short pattern diamonds. Oh. Just like like that 28 that we had. Nickel or gold? Nickel. Nickel. Uh, no aging toner, I think. Let's just go clear. And then just modern belly. Yeah, modern. Um, definitely want to stamp. And then definitely want to uh, do a uh, label. Amazing. Um, no electronics. No electronics, yeah. Away. We'll install those after the fact if it's needed. Um, uh, I still think, still think bone. I just, yeah. I feel like let's I just like go bone pins. Yeah. Never have to replace them. That is going to be a sweet OM. Sweet. I'm going to say maybe. Yeah, maybe. I like how dark that is. I'd say pass. Pass. Yeah, whatever you do. Ooh, that looks good. yeah, that's, good. that's a maybe. That's, yeah. I really like how that's going to be on the lower bout. Uh -huh. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. Yeah. Absolutely. Pass. Pass. I was only thinking three, but I mean, should we just do four? Four? Oh. And do two oh. of the wild greens at the lower end? At the end. lower end? At that's the, not a bad idea. Like, what if we do an OM? This one I think we gotta do. I think we gotta do that one. Yeah. That's just an amazing piece of wood. What if we do a uh, triple O uh, 41 and a D28? I'd say 20 over 18. Yeah, this one might just be a little dark. But I'm, I think 14 probably. 14 20. versus 20. Yeah. Head to head here. Yeah. 20 versus 14. That if we did this, so we're thinking we might use this for a triple O. Yeah. So like if the waist is like here, that would look amazing. Yeah. I, I like this one. I think that 20. on a triple O and that on a dreadnought. I agree. Yeah. So we need this one. Yeah. Yeah. And you talked us into a fourth. Yeah, you talked us into a fourth you didn't even know. This is so much fun. <laughs> this is seriously, I think, our favorite part of the show, Teresa. 14 fret short scale trip, or excuse me, 14 fret short scale triple O 41 on that. Yeah. White binding. We haven't done white binding, non wood binding yet. Yeah. On 16, we were thinking we would do a uh, short scale triple O, I guess regular triple O, um, and a 41. 41, I think, is cool, yeah. We haven't done just an Adirondack top yet. Which the Adirondack Wild Grain was really nice on on Al Alfonso's guitar. Yeah. Just regular white binding. You want the antique white or white? I'm um, antique white, please. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For the way to go. Which one's the golden era block? Oh, um, so the it's the more yeah. 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 Let's do. Golden I think golden era block, please. Quarter is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, do you remember it's on the DC Aura? Yeah. I feel like it's kind of modern looking. How do you think that would look with the Knopfler? Oh yeah. Good point. It's a lot of diamonds. Yeah. yeah. I kind of, what if you did? So, I mean, you got the Maltese. So, that's the Maltese here? This one. Oh, that is? Oh, okay. That's all? Wow. That's the Maltese. Torch. That could be cool. I think we would have to not do, uh, not do Knopfler if we're going to do that. Yeah. Well, I guess just too we much. We could do that. Yeah, that looks cool. But we're getting that's that That's what we're on. doing on the other yeah. one. Yeah. So what if we what if we knocked the Knopfler off and did that? I think that's cool. I mean, and that. just did the forty. Yeah, just do the. Yeah. Yeah. Just the regular. Regular forty. Yeah. That's so cool. That is so cool. That one's just flashing. That's a pretty piece, Pearl. And then I think bone pins again. Yeah, bone pins. Label, and I think that's great. Yeah. Genuine. That is going to be a very cool triple yeah. O. Maybe it'll come in time for Blues and Brews. And then I'm going to try to spec out this Dreadnought without picking one for myself. Yeah, do that. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Photo. Uh Because it already kind of does. God, I wish. It already kind of has that. 
have a system. No, actually, we're doing totally different. I think a, a 28 Dreadnought. 14 or 12? 14, yeah. 14? Do we want to just, let's make it a cannon. Let's go Adirondack, 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 and forward shift it. Let's make it a bluegrass guitar. Yeah, for sure. I think maple. Maple binding. Maple binding. I think bold herringbone is great. Bold, bold, old style silver, because we haven't done that yet, and I love it. Well, it's not a super flashy guitar besides the back, right? Yeah. So I, I kind of would lean towards maybe the diamond and squares yeah. just to have a little bit more. Can we do long pattern diamond and square? I think, the, I think let's do long pattern. So then you get up to the twelve. Yeah. Nickel. I would lean towards clear. I think clear. Yeah. And bone pins, and I think that's a beautiful guitar. And a cutaway for Tom, so he can get up high. I don't need the cutaway. I got these long <laughs> fingers. I can get up there. So I, uh, the dreadnought we, the reason we're joking out should be mine is the dreadnought we specced with you last year. I was very close to buying, and then uh, it sold as soon as it hit our Instagram. So ultimately, a customer made that decision for me. I'm not upset about it because we ordered it to sell it, so we, you know, succeeded in our, our you know, intention. But this one might be coming home. All right, I just that's cool. Thank you.